I've been doing a few runs myself just to build up the materials. So we're going to do a few more and then we're going to go out and do some surface gathering or surface mining or however you want to call that. Like we said, it's just what you can stand. But I have a lot of videos to produce, so I can't do too many this time on my own. I'll gather more when it's not about the videos. But we need to get to the material traders and move some of the materials over to uh, grade 4 for raw and grade 5 for manufactured and encoded. Okay, so we need to go out into that uh, wild blue yonder or wild uh, brown yonder and gather some raw materials. Sis lights. It doesn't work well when your voice program is not on. Sis lights. Sis lights. Now I have previous versions of videos where we're out here at Dav's Hope and shooting rocks and looking for strange things. But this one's strictly for the day-to-day -day grind and uh, collecting materials. That's all we're going to be doing. Not looking for strange things this time. Now, if I've had, when I've come over a hill and there's a strange ship, if that happens, then I'm going to record it. And, and would put it on my adventure series. And as you can see, I can turn right and left and my panels don't pop up. That was on purpose. They would always get in the way, so I put those on voice. Sis left. See, you see it pops up there. You can hit the cancel or say it again. Sis right. See, that one pops up. I can hit the cancel or I can say it again and it'll go away. Uh, it's just nice not having them in the way. That was a, a real big issue. I'm using the voice attack program. It's like ten dollars. They don't pay. They're not paying me anything to to tell you that. But when I was looking for a voice program, there were many that talked about it and said that they weren't getting paid. So it's kind of like. Uh, that's how it works, you know, they're not paying anybody, but they get lots of free free advertising because people like it so much.
uh, I would look at my left panel under contacts and I saw some ignored materials and I think that's why they didn't show up on the bottom sensor so I might have that worked out too of course uh, making sure they're not ignored is one fix for that and two if I see like if I do just a visual scan and it pops up on a, as a target then I need to check it because that means it's being ignored See, when I would play, sometimes I wouldn't worry about the details. I was just trying to get the credits and the materials and, and the engineers and stuff like that, not worrying as much about details. Well, I'm worried a whole lot more about details now since the videos. So I want to make sure you have every possible bit of knowledge of what can help you in your gameplay where you can get to it quickly. All you have to do is watch the videos and you get details. Or follow my series, The Day-to-Day -day Grind, and you get details of what you need. See, like next we're going to the Material Trader. We're going to move them over to the right all the materials so when we do need them like I've mentioned a few times uh, I needed some grade one to finish up grading one of my uh, shield boosters and uh, all I had to do is is take a grade 5 and uh, transfer it to grade 1 and I got 89 grade 1's for that one grade 5. So moving things right into grade 5 because it's so much easier when you need it to convert grade 5 to a lower grade than to try to upgrade from a lower to a higher. And I have come out and gathered and gathered and gathered on my own. Because I had heard someone one time say over the life of your play you need to maximize the amount of materials that you have because you're going to always need them for future additions to the game and uh, and like for me if I able to add uh, combat capability you know there's more uh, modifications I can make to the ships and we don't know what's going to happen when we get we get space legs you know what that's going to require uh, planetary base personal planetary bases so they've talked about that you know what that's going to require the fleet carriers what that's going to require
keep hitting the wrong one. There are differences between what you hit, which button works while you're on the ship, and which one that works on the SRV for the same need. Okay, I think you get the idea on the surface, mi surface mining or surface gathering or whatever you want to call it. Sis ship. It's time to go to the material traders and move. Some materials. So if you would, if you'd scroll down the vid video to underneath the video to the right and click subscribe. I appreciate all of those that have subscribed, but uh, I need much more subscriptions. So if you like my videos at all, please subscribe. And to the left, you'll see my YouTube channel name. Uh, GFM RDG or GFM underscore RDG. Uh, if you click that and scroll down, see my featured video on the seven interdictions, and uh, further down you see the playlist. If you'd watch my other videos, that would really help me out too. Now I'm having more luck with viewers watching my videos and time spent watching my videos and I am on subscriptions so I'm going to need some help on the subscriptions so until the next video where we go to the, um, the material traders and we move the items to the right or to the higher grade uh, thank you for watching <laughs>